Okay, let's talk about our last basic type in addition story problem. We have talked about when the result is unknown and how to solve problems when the start is unknown. Now let's talk about what to do when the change is unknown in a story. Okay, let's get started. Clarissa has three blocks. Ryan gives her some more. Now Clarissa has seven blocks. How many blocks did Ryan give her? All right, let's walk through this problem with our start change result chart or our SCR chart. Now, we know the start this time. We know that Clarissa has three blocks. So I'm going to put the number three under my start column. Ryan gives her some more. I don't know how many some is. That's my unknown. So I'm going to put a box here for my change because I don't know how many blocks Ryan gave Clarissa. But I do know that at the end of the story, Clarissa has seven blocks. So I know how many she started with. I know how many she has at the end. I just need to figure out how many Ryan gave her. And we can do that again with our number line. Now, we know that with an addition, when we're working with addition problems, we are always moving to the right on the number line. So I'm going to draw this arrow to remind me to go to the right because we are doing addition. Now, we know where to start this time. So I'm going to circle three on my number line because Clarissa started with three blocks. We don't know how many blocks Ryan gave her, but we know that she ends with a total of seven blocks. So I'm gonna put an arrow under seven to tell me when to stop. And I'm going to count from three to seven by jumping on a number line. Let's get started. One, two, three, four. Okay, I made four jumps on a number line. Which means that Ryan must have given her four blocks because three plus four equals seven. Let's write that as an equation. Clarissa has three blocks. Ryan gave her four more. Now Clarissa has seven blocks. That's one way to solve a change unknown type of story problem. Thank you for watching.